Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Project Management and Control. This video tutorial I'm making to demonstrate how can we show non-working days and holidays in the Gantt chart when we are using Primera P6. So sometimes when we are with, uh, we know that when we are making the program in Primera and especially for the construction project, the project duration are very long. For example, one year or two year. In this case, the our Gantt chart space is not enough to show uh, our uh, uh, calendar on the daily basis. So normally we are showing our calendar on the weekly or monthly basis. But for the small project with two months, two or three months duration or sometime when we are making a two months look ahead or one month look ahead, it is better to show the again chart on daily basis so that we can, so that the user or the reader can know how many holidays or non-working days are there and he can plan his work accordingly. So non-working days and holidays can be shown on again chart where in uh, P6, uh, P6 and to show this uh, non-working days on, and holidays in Primera P6, we know we need to make some settings in the P6. So first of all, the most important setting is the calendar as we know that the calendar is a very important feature of Primera P6 and in fact too many things are our calculations. So similarly here, we want to show when we want to show the uh, no, uh, 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 weekly holidays and uh, non-working days, uh, the days in the primary pieces Gantt chart, we need to make the uh, to show this holidays and uh, non-working days in pieces global calendars. In addition to this, we have to make the date interval to be week and days, and we have to show the side line to be adjusted for days. So most important of, from all of this is that non-working days and holidays, which should be mentioned in the or mark in the global calendar. So as we see that when we open the Primera, in the Primera, we just go to calendar uh, option. In the calendar option, uh, there are three options are available, global, resource, and project. Just select global. And then you will see that uh, there's uh, so many projects are there and there's default. So in the default, you just go and select the, click the default calendar. When you select the default calendar, just click modify. When you click modify, the calendar, this calendar uh, will come here. If you show this, we have two days holidays. And then you have select, when you select the weekdays, a work week it will show you the uh, how many days are assigned for work and non-work so here you can see that saturday and sunday are mark zero so that's why it shows saturday and sunday are zero and so similarly we have sun monday to friday are working so because we show here saturday and sunday holidays so when we go in gen chart primera it will show saturday and sunday as holidays so let's see in primera itself on our Primera P6 and I just open on one of my all projects. When the project is open, you can see that we have this, it shows you that uh, relationship line, just uh, deactive this relationship lines. And you can see that we have uh, December and then this is the weeks. Here then we want to show the uh, our uh, weekly holidays here. What are the weekly holidays and national holidays, whatever in the calendar. So to going this one, we just go first enterprise and Click the calendar. In the calendar, you see that we have project, resource, and global. So just select the global calendar. And the global calendar, you have default. So the default calendar, there are so many calendars, but the selected calendar will mark with the selected button, selected option. So when you see this one, it means it, it, it means that this is your global, it is used as global calendar. So if you click modify here, you will find here that you have total work hours and it shows that you have Monday to Friday are working and Saturday, Sunday are holidays. Here you can see also if you select any Sunday or Monday, it will show you zero working hours. Similarly, if you select any other day, it will show you eight working hours. So if you go here work week, you will find this work week option will, uh, will come out. It will show you that show you that we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, eight, holiday, eight days, five days, eight hours per day. But for example, if you are in Gulf countries, it was before it was Friday off, even now some concession companies they are using Friday as holiday. So if you have Friday as holiday, just click zero in Friday and then make Saturday and Sunday eight. And then click OK. It will show you that now your working days will be shown on Friday. So if you want to go back again, click work week and then select Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, eight days and Saturday and Sunday as holidays. So if you select this one, it will show you Saturday and Sunday's holidays. 
So once you define in, in the same way, you have to define all the holidays. Other, for example, if you have this any 17 October holiday, you have to make it exceptional and make this as non-working day. After marking all your holidays, you just go. You just go here in the Gantt chart portion and just click right, right click here, and then go to time time scale. In the time scale, you will see that this is a time scale dialog box in the down this date date format. Type is calendar and you have that date interval is month per week. So just open this one and then select week per day and then just select apply. So once you select apply, it will show you two days. You can mention here that you know, we have Saturday and Sunday as holidays. Okay, so and this after this you have if you want to days also here to be marked, just right click here and go to bar chart option. In the bar chart option, there is one thing sight lines. So just select sight lines and then you have see minor uh, show minor lines at every month, week, or day. So if you select day, it will show you lines for the days also. Now, if you see like this here, and you go and here, if you see, you see that on your uh, on your screen, there's too many uh, columns are already shown. To get more space, just remove the unnecessary columns. For example, this is a baseline program, so no need for remaining duration, no need for scheduled percentage complete. The budgeted cost, expense cost, okay, you can keep it. Others, uh, all material, no labor, total cost, actual cost, you can remove, unvalue, you can remove because it, because it is the baseline only, so no need to show unvalue cost now. Just show total float and apply. Now you can see that you have more space available. Now you can adjust your bar to show it more similarly so original duration you can make it small column you can make column small little bit here on the down or on the left hand side you can see this uh, the uh, or uh, this uh, w base bars this w bars uh, you can make it shrink just go into organize and then you have that as uh, you have that uh, here shrink vertical grouping bands so if you select this shrink vertical group of bands, it will shrink the this arrow lines and then you can get some more space on your screen. Especially if you are using the laptops, their screens are very small, 14 inch normal mostly. So 14 inch you cannot show everything on the screen. Similarly, if you want to show here, you can make it more and you can see here that if you as long as you when when you want to show all the project. It is very small and even you cannot readable. So in this case, it is not recommended to show the dates or, or dates on the uh, uh, Gantt chart on the da daily basis. Instead, we can show on the weekly basis. But for the small project, for example, some design projects or sometimes the consultant and client, they are asking or requesting to make one month to go ahead or two months to go ahead. In this case, it is better to show uh, uh, the Gantt chart on daily basis. In this case, you can make another separate layout, especially I'm mentioning the uh, Gantt chart on the daily basis. For example, if you want to show here the Gantt chart for the daily basis, we just make here layout save as and then just save as there's a uh, one month look ahead okay now if you go and open layout open and you have classic okay like here now you want to make it for the one month look ahead. So to show you one month look ahead, just go in the filter. And then we make it here. Select this one and make modify. Then we have that uh, start, uh, this filter for the one, the one month look ahead. I just make it one month look ahead. Okay, and we have a start less than data date and finish is greater than uh, data head. These two conditions should be fulfilled. and all of the following start is greater than the data date or uh, start date is less than data date plus two months. And in this is two months, if you are going for two months look ahead. So I just change this to two months look ahead. And just click OK and then select this uh, for, uh, filter and click apply. When you apply this one, you can see that now this is your two months look ahead. 
here a lot of uh, or, or WBS are empty. So let's go again in organize and just make height if empty. Okay, so you see you can make it height and empty. And this is your now your two months look ahead. If similarly you can make this little bit here. So that will show you. Even now you can see that it is not shown properly on the screen because of this uh, the days are not shown. If you want to show days properly, it is uh, needs more space. So try to make some space anyhow. So let's show properly on the screen. So now this is your two months to head and if you want to show the work non-working days, just go in format bars. In the format bar, you have this, for example, remaining works. Okay, in the remaining bar, go to bar setting and make calendar known work time. Bar necking. This is called bar necking. And then this to apply. You can see that this all non working days will be coming as the as the for the uh, for, for the non working days. And this is only working days. This is be careful that when you show the work days like this, like this, it will show you time it will show you the working time from morning to evening for example if you have working time from eight o'clock in the morning till five o'clock in the evening it will show you the time on that time only work it not it will not show you full day so similarly if you if you enlarge this one you can see here that the not the whole day is shown as working okay only so the time you specify this is from eight in the morning till Five in the evening, and here in the work calendar, the Friday was holiday and Saturday Sunday was uh, working day. So you have to adjust the global calendar accordingly so that it will show you only the Friday as a working day, or uh, non-working days, and Saturday Sunday as holidays. So in this case, you can show more precise if the consultant and client is looking for. And this is the this is the one of the way to check the program. If you receive the program from any of your subcontractor or supplier, we want to see how his plan his work and he's properly planned for holidays or not holidays. You can see in, uh, in the uh, again in this option using this uh, collect bar option. Just go to format bar and the format bar select the remaining bar and then just go bar setting and then click this calendar non working time i just deselect this one and like this so i hope uh, uh, if you see one thing more if you want to show this uh, in the uh, print out print view you can see it is not shown the full page so just go in the page setup and make the page as a three okay it's got done then you go option and then you can select as the start is the data date minus two days and the uh, finish date is the data date because we have two months to go ahead so we make 63 days here and make apply you can see it is even not shown so just go into page and select fit time scale to one page so now you can see that it will show you two which look ahead very nice clean and presentable uh, if you just adjust the working days here uh, you, in the in your global calendar, which is suitable for you, and this is two months look ahead. And because, as I said, this is the baseline program, so program just started. So you can see that we just have SWI investigation and debating will plan to be start after some time. However, we have started some engineering works for the project. So in this case, as uh, as for a small duration for one month, two months, three months, you can show the Gantt chart on the daily basis. But for the big project for which have dur uh, duration air or uh, air, uh, it is uh, not recommended to show the Gantt chart in daily basis. So in this case, we can show either calendar on the weekly basis or monthly basis. For example, if you want to show it monthly basis, just click close this one from here and right click and go to time scale. And from uh, oh, for, sorry, go to uh, bar chart option, and from here, go to site line, and from this, show major line as week, and show major line, uh, uh, manual line as week, and major line as months. Site line, week, uh, month, week, uh, week, uh, month, and week okay and then we have to go from here go time scale and from here you just select month week 
Okay, so now it will show you based on the month and week. So if you see the print preview now, it is more, it's more, but here you cannot see the working days, uh, holidays here. So, uh, so this is in this case, it is advisable to show uh, Sundays so that anyone who can read it, it's easy for him to make some investigation or some cal his calculation or make uh, some uh, evaluation for the program and he can make some comments or the site team, those who are who are supposed to follow the program, they can understand and understand the program fully and, and there's no uh, confusion between the planning team and the construction team. So I hope uh, this video is give you some uh, new information for you. And if so, if so, please consider subscribe, subscribe, subscribing this our channel. Uh, I will try to keep on making uh, helpful and useful videos for our fellow planning engineer. I uh, helpful for your support and your uh, viewers. Uh, one thing I want to share again that uh, I uh, I get notification. That most of our viewers are not subscribing. So I appreciate if you subscribe this channel. Uh, it will be a great, uh, great uh, encouragement, encouragement for me and motivate for motivation for me. And I appreciate your comments. If you want to make, you want me to make some video on some specific topic, please write in comments. Uh, as a busy professional, uh, I need to have some time time constraints. Uh, some mostly busy. So if I if I, I try to make uh, the video as soon as possible. Uh, till thank you, till next video. Thank you very much again. See you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.